Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel again. Nice to see you. We have glass, approximately where it's going to go. This is the glass that has been sitting astride this tank, mocking me for the best part of a month because it's just been too heavy to lift and I couldn't get anyone to help me. We finally got it in. So with the help of some family who came to visit at the weekend, we managed to get this up and lifted into place. For those of you who are new here, this is my fish room. Uh, we've been working on this project for quite a while now. This is Mega Tank, as it's known. We've got eight foot long, four foot wide, three feet high, um, roughly two and a half thousand litres or so once it's all filled. It's going to keep... Don't quite know, keep changing my mind. Uh, it's a wooden tank, I've been building this from scratch. If you want to check it out up here or up here, there will be some kind of link to the playlist of the video all about this. But it kind of got stalled at the last section because I couldn't find glass, and then when I found glass, it was a bit heavier than I expected. So we've crossed that bridge now, the glass is in. Next stage here is to get the silicon in. So what I'm going to do is seal from the other side, silicon all the way around push the glass up against it and kind of wedge it in. So we need to have a wee look and see how we're going to do that. So as you can see, I've just got it kind of propped on some spare bits of wood. And I think what I'm going to do, what was going to be easiest, if I kind of wiggle this glass backwards a bit, or maybe even lay it down flat, then I'll be able to go round, I think it'll be easier if I go round the frame and silicone that in. What I'm doing here is creating both creating a seal as well as just adhesive properties, that's what I'm after. Um, once this is full of water, all this water, the, the weight of the water, the forces will be going against this glass, holding that in tight. So it doesn't need to do that much adhesion, it has to do more of a, a sealing job than anything else. But we'll get it fixed, and then once that's fixed, I'll go around the outside as well and just create a bit of a, a neater seal. The little legs aren't quite big enough to get in this way. Ooh. Calculated this correctly, there should be enough space to lay this flat down in here. And if I'm not too much of a weakling, that won't kill me. But if it does, please tell my family I love them. I've done everything with very tight tolerances for glass so I didn't have and I could have as big a viewing pane as I could get. So I want to get this quite near the front before trying to lie it down. This is heavier than it looks. There we go. So in theory, I can now do the siliconing all around here, lift the glass back up and kind of wedge it in place. If I can figure out how to get out. And I should be able to stand on this glass, but I don't really want to. So graceful. Right, silicon. So I'm given to understand that speed and preparation is the key to this phase of it. Um, what I've got is silicon, normal aquarium silicon, or normal silicon I use for aquariums. It's the HA6 marine grade silicon. The marine grade reference there doesn't mean it's suitable for use in fish tanks. It just means you can use it in boats and things like that. But no additives, that's what you're looking for. So what I'm gonna do is open all these up, get them all lined up. Uh, I'm going to go for at least four, so one per side, if not two per side. Uh, get it pumped in. I want quite a, a thick nozzle in this bit here. I'm going to cut it about there so it's this nice, big, thick. I don't want... This isn't about precision, this is about speed and volume, getting it all in there. case of starting, get your cock gun, cock, or not cock, ready to go, and then just move as fast as I can do with as big a glob as I can manage. So there's 
an idea of the thickness in comparison to my finger. It's a good fat fingers thick, two layers all the way around. Right, well it's in. That's it. Siliconed in place, I've gone round and siliconed the glass to the frame and then gone around the panel as well and siliconed that. I think we've used seven in total. Seven tubs of silicon, seven tubes of silicon. Just need to leave that now, 28, 48 hours and then we do a bit of a fill test. But it went fairly smoothly, other than me obviously nearly choking to death on the fumes. I still can, don't think I'll ever be able to taste or smell anything again and covering every surface in the fish room with silicon. But other than that, quite well. So before we do the fill test, I want to get your opinion on what we should be keeping in here. I've gone through everything from making a planted discus mega tank to Oscars. I kind of settled on Oscars being the thing that I wanted to keep in here and then maybe making it more of a kind of South American cichlid, just large fish tank. We've talked about rays, we've talked about bass, we've talked about all kinds of things. I'm kind of thinking about goldfish as well, or given the current climate, any other cold water fish that I might not need to heat this monstrosity. Or maybe even making it a kind of indoor koi pond, eight foot by four foot. I don't know. So I'm interested in more suggestions. As always, come and join me on my Friday night live stream and we'll talk about it there. But let me know in the comments what you think. So, like I say, we'll give this a little bit of time and then we'll come back and we'll do a bit of a fill test and you can see whether a disaster ensues. Okay, so we're 24 hours later. Um, man flu is setting in with a vengeance. But the silicon's cured, we're in, we're ready, everything's hard. There's nothing left for it other than just get some water in here and see what happens. It's a little bit nerve-wracking. Um, yeah, nothing else for it. Let's get a hose. Um, how should we do this? So, nothing overly technical about this piece. We're basically just going to get water in there. I'm not going to fill it all the way to the top because I haven't braced this yet. So eventually, when this is fully operational, we'll have a brace going across here or maybe a couple of braces. It's holding the front and the back together. So we'll maybe fill it up just over halfway. And what we're looking for is to see whether it holds water, so fill it up, leave it for a few days and see what's happening. This water that's going in now, it's going to be emptied, so this isn't the actual water that we'll be using, so I don't need to worry about treating it or running it through my HMA filter or anything like that. This is literally, get it in, check nothing leaks underneath. Right, so we're about maybe six to eight inches in now and um, obviously the bottom's down here so we're up to here so far so good touch wood um, I'm going to let this go like I say I'm going to get up to about halfway and then just leave it for a while I'm expecting if there are leaks it won't be gushers or anything like that it'll be little ones that will accumulate over time so I can get in underneath and check everything out which I'll do over the next few days. And I can imagine people already commenting saying what you've only waited 24 hours for your silicon to cure this is slightly different than if I was building a tank out of silicon then yes I might wait 48 hours if not longer for the silicon to properly harden. It's cured, it's there, it's not um, soft or anything like that but it's not rock solid either so if there is any give left in it that's why I want to get this filled up so the weight of the water is pushing the glass and if anything sealing it even more for me. So when it does properly harden off over the next 24 or 48 hours I should get an even better seal. But so far so good, we'll see how we get on. So 
so I won't make you wait for a time lapse for this to fill all the way up in the next couple of days to do the leak testing but if you want to know how we get on come and join me on my Friday night live stream 9pm UK time uh, there'll be a playlist up here or up there with the rest of the Mega Tank build videos you can check them out if you're watching this and it's the future there should be more after this with what happened from the leak test and all the other jobs that I've got to get sorted we've got to get lights, we've got to get filtration, we've got to get this prepped and painted or whatever we're going to do so if you're interested in that kind of stuff please click that subscribe button and then you won't miss anything other than that thank you for watching see you in the next one bye